Tabish, let me start with you. Uh, what is the envi environment in Afghanistan if we talk about starting from the talks in Doha? What is the expectation? What are the concerns and what are the goals we are having in mind once we talk about the Doha talks? Uh, Salam alaikum to all of you and uh, particularly to you and uh, Madam Amina Khan. Uh, glad to be with you. Uh, the environment and the perception and the general perception of the Afghans about the peace process is that things are finally rolling after 42 years of war, right? So uh, the consensus for reaching an agreement and the hope and the optimism of the Afghan people is there. But unfortunately, as, as we move forward, uh, which is quite natural with any complex and controversial negotiations. There are roadblocks that needs to be ironed out and there are uh, talks to be uh, detailed and elaborated among uh, stakeholders. So the news from Doha, at least in the recent weeks uh, after the initial start, uh, is not unfortunately so promising, but still sides and parties to the conflict and to the negotiations are trying to solve and make sure that the mechanism for solving uh, the disputes during the, the talks is uh, laid out and based on that progress is made. Okay, okay. Amna, let me come to you. As Tabish is saying, itna acha atmosphere nahi hai, itna acha abhi tak response nahi aya. What exactly Pakistan can play in this whole scenario, although we know what Pakistan has been doing. But going forward, what do you think Pakistan role can play in this role, specifically in this situation, ke andar, the Doha talks? Ji, first of all, I agree with uh, Farooq what he said. First of all, look, these talks are historic. Hai. ये unprecedented है और ये हो रहे हैं after more than 19 years of bloodshed and violence तो ये जो हमारी एक you know सोच है कि all of a sudden you know you're going to achieve peace in Afghanistan ये बहुत I think unrealistic है इधर हमने realistic होना है और अभी we should be cautiously optimistic ठीक है जी the fact कि for the first time officially दोनों अफगान तालिबान और काबल एक दूसरे के सामने बैठ रहे हैं और बातें कर रहे हैं दिस इन इटसेल्फ इज अ ब्रेक थ्रू एंड इसी पे वी हैव टू शो अ लॉट ऑफ पेशेंस देखिए जी पीस डील्स और पीस जो होती है ना इट डज नॉट कम इन अ डे एंड इट डजंट कम थ्रू अ मैजिक वांड इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ पेशेंस कॉम्प्रोमाइजेस और ये प्रोसेस बहुत फ्रेजाइल है और अभी भी अगर आप देख रहे हैं अभी भी हर्डल्स क्रिएट हो रही है बहुत छोटे छोटे बातें पर के ऊपर तो मसला ये है कि देसे लॉट ऑफ मिस्ट्रस्ट अनफॉर्च्युनेटली अभी ये जो दोनों पार्टीज हैं तो इनको हमने अभी आइस्टा आइस्टा द फैक्ट कि वो इंगेज कर रहे हैं ये भी सबसे बड़ी बात है नंबर टू जिधर पाकिस्तान की बात है देखिए पह Despite the fact that Pakistan has been blamed and and over and over again, ठीक है जी, not only by the Americans but you know obviously Kabul भी बार बार ये कह चुका है कि वे रिस्पॉइलर and what not. But Pakistan day one से कह रहा था कि the only way to achieve peace in Afghanistan is through a negotiated settlement, Absolutely. meaning through dialogue. And I'm glad it, it is unfortunate कि again it has taken more than 19 years of bloodshed and violence and countless innocent Afghan lives. For the Americans to realize this, so Pakistan again is sticking to its principal stance, which is to support the peace process. Dekhiye, all we can do is push both sides to engage, and we have to ensure that ये जो अभी एक process शुरू हो चुकी है, ये collapse ना हो. Absolutely. And अगर collapse हो भी जाए, again दोबारा इनको engage करें. लेकिन इधर मैं एक ज़रूरी बात करूँगी कि देखिए Pakistan's role has to be limited to supporting and facilitating the peace process. आगे पीस अचीव हो या ना हो और हमारी ये संसेर दुआ है कि अचीव हो लेकिन ये फिर एक अफगान प्रोग्रेटिव है और अनफॉर्च्युनेटली जितना भी मुश्किल है ये अफगान्स ने खुद बैठ के ही इस मसले को हल करना है ठीक हो गया अब ना बिल्कुल ठीक है तबिश लेट मी कम बैक व्हाट व्हाट आमना इस सेइंग आई एग्री ऑन दैट देयर इज अ मिस्ट्रस्ट वी एग्री इट्स बीन 19 इयर्स द ब्लड शेड इज देयर वी एग्री ऑन दैट नाउ अब्दुल्ला अब्दुल्ला विजिट टू पाकिस्तान it's it's it went very well it went very well all over the pakistan it was acknowledged he met the prime minister he met all the concerned quarters he met media the the narrative which afghanistan has that has been through now the main, most important thing is the regional actors 
may it be pakistan may it be india may it be the firstly we were the peace spoilers now we now the world has realized that pakistan is not the peace spoiler it's the peace maker so going forward what roles do you see of these regional factors and the countries once we talk about the afghan peace process masoor you know that we are living in a very uh, fragile uh, region as amina mentioned right Uh, the threats to terrorism is not just uh, 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 threatening Afghanistan, but the entire region. So to make peace in any of these countries, we need two uh, level of uh, uh, equilibrium of stability. The internal equilibrium of stability in Afghanistan depends on how Afghan parties and the sides of the conflict, conflict make sure that we have an accommodative system for all the parties and a roadmap that achieves peace and sustains peace in the long run. Correct. The regional equilibrium of peace definitely as mentioned in your talks and anonymous talks is is to make sure that everybody with interest and of course with the sabotage power in the region or cooperating in a peace uh, platform that is moving the region beyond what is now we are stuck in. So uh, not just the pakistan uh, state role but the civil society the people similar to the indian uh, government and people and of course to the iranians to the russians to the chinese and more importantly to the americans which are uh, main player in in afghan politics all these players needs to understand that there is a new chapter that needs to be open and there are new opportunities that needs to be taken advantage of I mean these two level of equilibrium needs diplomacy deliberation and devotion of time and energy not just from the afghan side but from the region if there is not an understanding that a Afghan, uh, peaceful afghanistan is in the interest of pakistan is in the interest of india and all the region i am afraid we will stack with what is uh, challenging us today so any peace in afghanistan really the sustainability of any peace depends how we gain and garner the support of the regional countries particularly pakistan i know that the visit of uh, his excellency dr abdullah uh, was uh, widely welcomed by the state by the nation by the institutions in pakistan and there is this realization that any support outside of the formal government to government and state to state is not helping us to move forward so if there is a new realization for peace coming from pakistan this should be uh, a welcoming uh, message i read the uh, prime minister Pax, uh, prime minister imran khan's piece in washington peace and washington post the piece is giving us a sense that look we made mistakes you made mistakes we have a difficult past and we have to go from that difficult past and make Absolutely. sure Absolutely. that the future is not uh, the way we we we, de- we dealt with in the last 40 years so if this realization is manifested in the peace talks in doha and in the regional platforms i think this is a major step forward absolutely